I'm Angela Hockman, your host of In the Kitchen on STL TV, where we work to just give you a glimpse inside the amazing and always delicious St. Louis food scene. Uh, so on today's episode, I'm very excited because we brought Chef Marie from My Marie Haitian Restaurant over on Cherokee. How's it going, Chef? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. I am hungry. I am smelling everything in front of me. Chef, what are we going to make? Oh, thank you for, for letting me here. Thank you so of much. Of course, it's, it's my, my pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> thank you so much for having me here. So today we're gonna make some coconut curry shrimp. Ooh. This is delicious, don't worry, you're gonna eat. I heard you say you're hungry. I, I will eat all, oh, yes, okay, I'm always hungry. <laughs> yes. So coconut curry shrimp. Um, and I'd like to just talk a bit because this is a Haitian restaurant. Yes. Not to be confused with Jamaican restaurant. Before we get into it, can you sort of differentiate between the two? Okay, difference like Haitian restaurant and Jamaican, we get that a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm not from Jamaica, I'm from Haiti, born okay. and raised. Okay. So we just like a little bit like family. Our cuisine and Jamaican cuisine, they're a little bit like, if you see some red rice and peas, you can think that Jamaican. But Haitian too, we make rice and peas. We do plain things. We do good, then, but we got like a little bit difference. That's okay. the difference between like Haitian, like they do dumplings. The dumplings a little bit sweet, or fried mm. dumplings a little bit salty. That's the difference between us, but we all sister and brother. Oh, that's so interesting. And I feel like a big differentiator yes. is your seasoning. Yes, I your use actual my, seasoning. exactly. I use my seasoning. Even though I make jerk chicken, I use my seasoning. We, I don't like, by the Jamaican seasoning, nothing right. wrong with them. No. But I use my signature dish. That sounds absolutely delicious. So how do we get started on the coconut curry oh, shrimp? Oh, the coconut curry shrimp that yes. I'm gonna start with. I have my seasoning, like you can see that. Like. Ooh. Yeah. So that's amazing. Can people purchase that? Yes, you can purchase that pretty soon by December. It's gonna be ready in my Perfect. shop. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect holiday gifts if you yes, need to give if someone. Yes, if you need a gift, exactly. Yes. Right. yes. So today we're gonna make some coconut curry chicken, but okay. the recipe, it, you're just gonna use like a... A generous tablespoon. Yes, yeah. I like good flavor. Me too. I always ask a little bit more. Me too. Why not? More flavor, more better. I always think, yeah, more is more. Yes, more <laughs> is more. So uh, if you wanna help me, yes, yeah, I'd that love would to be help. fine. You Thank can you. mix that together and you can pass. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn my oh, heat lid. It smells so good, everything like fresh, the herbs. Yes. So can we chat for a sec about just some different types of menu items people can find and what you might recommend if someone's never experienced Haitian food before? But like if someone never experienced Haitian food, we have some dish called griot. This is mm. one of the most popular Haitian food. If you go to Haiti, don't miss it. It's like a fried pork, you use like pork butt or pork shoulder, whatever you like. Yeah. But like Asian, we like the skin. So we cut those like in cube and we seasoning with Haitian seasoning. Don't forget, Haitian use that seasoning a lot. Kick and it up, friends. Yes, <laughs> you have to have this in your kitchen. Okay. So we cook like the pork really tender. Okay. And after that, we deep fry it with some plantain and pickles. You pickles? Need, yeah, pickles, that's, that's a, the pickles, you wanna ask? Like, I mean, I what know. is this? Because at first I'm like, is this pickles? Is this coleslaw? Yes. What is happening? The pickles to make it like easy for you to understand. It's like an invest of coleslaw. Okay. Yes. It's like, like your twist on coleslaw. Yes, exactly. But we use like vinegar base and lime juice and Haitian seasoning. I want to talk too while we're prepping this about oxtail. I learned about that when I had Creole with a splash of sole on. How is your oxtail different? My oxtail is the best in town. <laughs> well, you heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the best. So we cook our oxtail very tender. Okay. If you ever had it, come try it in my restaurant, my Marie 3147, I'm in Cherokee. You wanna try that oxtail. It's very, very good and tender. Yum. Yes. So you've been cooking since you were young, is that right? Like yes. how did you even get started in this culinary journey? You know, cooking is like my passion, my dream. That's something I love to do. I can stand like all day cook, and I love to feed people too. I've been cooking since I was young. I lost my mom when I was five years old. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. gosh. And I was the one in the house cooking, cooking. I used to cook for my neighborhood sometime, yes. 
that's why I, I got that passion from cooking. Right. Yes. And it, so you had a restaurant in Haiti. Yes, exactly. And then you came to Cape Girardeau, of all places, before St. Louis. How did that yes. start? We used to live in Haiti, our restaurant. It was my husband and I. When I met him, too, he met me in the place I used to work, at the restaurant. Okay. Yes. Magic happens oh, in restaurants. he's a lucky man, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finding now, uh, love at restaurants. Yes. And that's where I start, I, I start working as a waitress. Okay. Not back in the kitchen, but the dream was there, to open a restaurant. Wow. Yes, yeah. And after I quit that job and I start my own, uh, my own business restaurant and back in Haiti, then after the earthquake. Oh, right. Yes, 2010. We, j we left Haiti and we moved to U.S. Oh, gosh. Yes, well, and we We're glad you're here. I'm sorry for the circumstances, but. I know, it's okay. Should we get the shrimp going oh, too? Yes, because okay. I told you, chef, I'm yes, hungry. Yes, <laughs> let's get started. First, Perfect. we're gonna add those, like, I'm gonna take this off. Gonna... Ooh, feel that mm. sizzle. Smell okay. that. Can you smell it? I, of course, yes. I have a great sense of smell. I can smell it all. You're gonna mix that and together. And you chose Cherokee of all places. Yes. Cherokee is so fun. I feel like every cuisine you could want is there. Yes. Why, why did you choose Cherokee? You know why I chose Cherokee? We used to be in Cape Girardeau. Yeah. So in Cape Girardeau, the community wasn't big enough. Like there's no Haitian only my family. And I bought a few Haitian friends, but they don't stay. And I used to come here a lot from Cape Girardeau to St. Louis. And I see a lot of restaurants. Like they have Mexican, like Cuban. Sure. Yes, everywhere. And I say, why they don't have any Haitian cuisine? And I'm in the business. So I say, okay, let's like get ball. something. Like, mm -hmm. let, let's bring the Haitian cuisine to Cherokee Street. And that's the plan. That's awesome. I love that you saw an opportunity. Yes. And here we are. You yes, are a successful are. restaurant owner on Cherokee. Amazing. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yes, then my dream is to open any restaurant like where, where they don't have any. Exactly. Yes. Then. So you're going to be the only yes. hot Haitian restaurant in town. Exactly. <laughs> Amen. Okay, so. so why don't we let those vegetables, we're going to yes. let them saute for Sorry, a bit. They're for a little so bit. Yep. bright and beautiful. Okay. When we come back, Chef Marie and I are going to finish up this delicious coconut curry shrimp. But right now, we're going to check out, okay, I'm really jealous, I'm not going to lie. Our own Angela Sharp took a little field trip to Clementine's Naughty or Nice Creamery. Let's see what Angela has going on over at the ice cream shop. We'll be right back after this. I love coming back to St. Louis to savor some of its more famous foods like toasted ravioli, barbecue, and world famous frozen custard. But if you think that's all we have cooking, time to turn those beliefs upside down. Truth is, St. Louis has some of the hottest restaurants in the nation and more than our fair share of James Beard award winning chefs. So you might want to bring those stretchy pants. What? They're comfy. St. Lou is always exploring. It is Angela Sharp bringing you In the Kitchen on the Road. Today I'm at Clementine's Naughty and Ice Creamery. I'm actually at their giant kitchen, their production facility, if you will, where they make everything in house. Hopefully, I will get to make their most delicious, most popular flavor. It's St. Louis. So, of course, it's gooey butter cake. Let's hope. We have Julie Claire Lane, the director of retail here at Clementine's. We're actually in the warehouse. So this is my first time in the warehouse. This is kind of like a behind the scenes in experience. The production office. Yeah. So we all know Clementine's Creamery. I think everybody yeah. has one kind of close to them. We now have eight locations. Um, our two newest ones are Central West End and Edwardsville, Illinois. So we're on the other side of the river right now. Central West End is gorgeous. Um, it's very clementiney. It has tin ceiling. Um, it has exposed brick walls. Um, it's in a fabulous location, um, doing really well. But the one that's kicking butt is Edwardsville. Edwardsville. So going Edwardsville. across the river turned yeah. out well for you guys. It did. It really did. So um, Kirkwood, yours, yeah. the closest to you, is only a walk up. Right. It's kind of um, tiny, but I love it. 
Right now, only 10 flavors there. We have 24 in all of our other shops, and we're adding the remaining 14 for just for you. Yay, I get to try more yeah. flavors. I we'll love that. All. We'll have them all. What's happening behind us? So behind us today, I know they are making the maple bourbon pecan. We are also making, we have two flavors that, and, and you can actually, when we get there, you can actually see it because I think you're going to go in and make. Yes, I am. Uh, the two hot flavors right now are Clementine Sorbet and our watermelon ice cream. So they're making watermelon. We're sold out of both. Oh, so wow. they make them all this morning and they'll go out to the shops today and by tomorrow, we'll have plenty of You'll it. You'll have plenty yeah. of it. What's next on my day? You're bring Levon in. All right, now we've gotten down to the nitty gritty here. We have LaVon Nichols, the general manager of production. So you know everything that goes in to all of these ice creams and sorbets. For the initial run, we have a chef, an R&D chef that develops all the flavors. She comes up with the different batches that we taste and test. And then she'll come to me with all the specs for that recipe and then I'll go out and source all the ingredients. We want to be the most superior product. Um, we don't whip a lot of air into our ice cream, so we keep it super premium. We don't like to use artificial flavors. We don't use a lot of fillers. We don't use um, items that have artificial color or dye in them. When we're developing our vegan flavors, we, we try to keep it all gluten-free, um, obviously vegan. What are you gonna have me do today, and do I get to wear the very fancy hairnet? Yes. Awesome. It's not glamorous in here, but uh, yes. Hey, we... I, I think it, you look very glamorous, so I'm ready. You'll have to wear a hairnet, okay. wash your hands, gloves. I'll get non-skid boots for you, okay. so you're safe in there. We'll put on an apron, and we'll make gooey butter cake, which is our number one selling ice cream. Now, is it number one because it's the best, or is it number one because we're in St. Louis? I think both. Okay. <laughs> it is the best. <laughs> we make all of our um, gooey butter cakes here in-house. Stop it. Yes, we bake all of, we do try to bake a lot of our inclusion that goes into the ice cream. Um, some products are superior and we buy them because they're good, but a lot of things we do try to bake in-house. So gooey butter cake is one of them. When I have a gooey butter cake ice cream from Clementine's, there's mm -hmm. like little pieces of gooey butter cake, and you're right. telling me you make that gooey butter cake it. here. They make the filling, they make the crust, they bake it, they cut it. So those little tiny pieces yeah. are cut by hand. Stop we it! We fold the inclusion in by hand. We pint every pint by hand. So this is very much a hands-on. That's gonna be so amazingly fun. Nothing. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited, are you ready for some ice cream? Do you ever not get ready for ice cream? No, who doesn't love ice cream? I was gonna say, everybody loves ice cream. <laughs> Let's go have some ice cream fun. So this is the gooey butter cake that's already been cut. Oh, wow. So oh, we have everything God. cut, weighed out. That is All amazing. our mise en place ready before we start making the ice before cream. Before you start making the mm -hmm. ice cream, okay. This is the bucket of the filling. So somebody will weigh out the dairy, all the flavoring, all the necessary ingredients will be batched typically the day before we okay. make the ice cream. Oh, okay. And then these are all waiting for us when we come in. This is what actually will go in the machine. Oh, look how we go, look at us go. Making ice cream. It all goes in there? Okay. Yeah, if I free first. Oh, I'm sorry. Good door. Look, look at this gooey butter cake on my face. <laughs> this process will take about five minutes. So uh, about five minutes, and yeah. what it's doing right now is it's freezing what we yes. put in there. Yes, you are. Okay. You can see now, it's just very liquid. Yes. But after the air is incorporated and the beater spins and it starts to freeze, it gets thicker and it'll kind of fold over itself. So it'll make kind oh. of a peak. Okay. So you're not necessarily waiting for a buzzer to go off and it's right. ready. Okay. You're, you're kinda, looking to you're see waiting. what the ice cream looks like. Sometimes it'll go off, it's not ready. So your oh. your eye has to kind of be trained. You kind of have know to know what you're looking for. When it's ready by okay. what it looks like. So two full gooey butter cakes are gonna go into this gooey butter cake ice cream we're about to take out of the Stop machine. It. Two full gooey butter cakes. Two fully two full <laughs> gooey butter cakes. I know. <laughs> So yeah, we definitely don't chintz on the ingredients and or the inclusion. And these are all cut by hand. Everything. Made by hand, cut by hand, packed by hand. And as she's doing it, she's coating the pieces because 
this is all going to go in the freezer. Right, like the ones we saw. Yeah, earlier. and we don't want a yeah. big ball of gooey butter cake. That'll help keep the pieces individual. Okay, so here's the tub. So we put the tub here. Now what so, happens? So you hold this too. You hold it with your leg. You hold it with your leg. Okay. 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 Now what happens? Okay. Press this button, this strap button. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Stop right out. <gasps> Stop! Oh, this is so cool. And and now what happens? It just comes right. out? Yeah, it comes out. Okay. Take a spatula. Take my spatula. And smooth, smooth it out. Oh. There you go. Oh, hey! There you go. There you go. That. Oh. Yeah, you, I'll take you, this you show me, yeah. Take this. Okay. And you want to fold in, like, you want to take around and start folding in. Oh! Woohoo! Go for it. <laughs> I love gooey butter cake. I love, I love gooey butter cake, and I love gooey butter cake ice cream from Clementine's. This is delicious. It tastes like batter back in the day. I love it. Okay? Where am I taking this to? Both hands. Make sure you got both hands. Lift. Got it? We will care for you. I care for you. Okay. Not a problem. And then that's where the real freezing happens. Yep. Oh, and then wow. we transport it to where we house the ice cream in another freezer, and that's where it gets delivered out of. Thank you so much to Clementine's Creamery for giving us the inside scoop on all the delicious ice cream. That is all for now. I'm Angela Sharp with In the Kitchen on the Road. Back to you, Angela. Okay, Angela Sharp, next time you need to bring me to Clementine's. That is one of my absolute favorite ice cream shops in town. I'm a huge fan of their vegan flavors because they add this coconut base that is just delightful. Speaking of coconut base, Chef Marie from My Marie Haitian Restaurant on Cherokee, what is going on down there with our coconut curry shrimp? So I add curry powder mm. and the seasoning like one tablespoon of that seasoning. And that's your that? seasoning, yeah, is that right? Yeah, that's my seasoning. Okay. I already uh, mix it at home. And the shrimp, all those vegetables, and scott bonnet pepper, and the herbs, the rosemary, the yes. parsley, the thyme. That was so good. And the coconut milk make it like creamy. It's this yes. like amazing Caribbean fusion. What else do you have going on here? This one is plantain. Ooh. Yes, fried deep plantain. So there's already fry, and we're just gonna flat it and refry it again. Okay, so how do we flatten these? So well, we need two of these, but I just been one, but you can. What? Yeah, you see that sweaty hands? That's from Haiti. Oh my gosh, I thought this was a teeny tiny cutting board. You could put your hand on it. No, it's how you flatten the plantains. Yes. Oh my gosh, okay, show me everything. That's made from Haiti. We make that in Haiti. It's beautiful. Yes, you see? <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, we flat them. I need to get one of those. Yeah. If you go to Amazon and you go to some Haitian shop, you can buy this. Well, next time you're there, if you yes. could pick one up for me, I'd really appreciate exactly. it. Yeah. So while you're flattening those, how did you get, I know your name is Marie, but the name My Marie for the restaurant, where did that come from? The name of My Marie came from Cape Girardeau. My last job I used to work at the casino. Oh, wow. Yes, and I have another skill. I deal card too. Oh my gosh, you got I'm, a lot of skills. Yes, I'm a card dealer. But my first no one way. was, I used to work back in the kitchen. I worked for like one year and a half. Okay. And I switched as a dealer. I worked for like six years. I used to deal card. And everybody used to call me my Marie. I used to be Marie everybody. No yes. way. You had that sort of impact on everyone. They said, no, yeah. that is my Marie. Yeah, that's my Marie. My that's Marie. That's so awesome. Yes. When I, when I was going to open the restaurant and my manager told me, why you didn't call it my Marie? Everybody got in. I listened to her and I got that name. That is so, so special. I love yeah, it. And very you. unique and obviously very personal and a testament to you. Yeah. Okay, so thank these you. look so good. They're so good. Well, me, I, I put some little, I love my seasoning. Because Heck I, yes. yes, load it up. Yeah. My seasoning's so good and they're gonna be for sale mm -hmm. soon. And I'm gonna be Christmas shopping right yeah. there. So those you said are gonna be part of the coconut curry shrimp. Yes. Is it pl is it plated together or do people choose you, sides yeah, when they people come choose in? Th yeah, people choose. Okay. Like this is like the coconut chicken, this is the plantain and pickles you have to choose because Ooh. we have like seven side dish in the menu, like oh. and rice, mac and cheese, oh mashed potatoes, we got oh. all and you can choose what you want. I'm yes. starving yes. just thinking about that. And did you mention we're gonna maybe make some dumplings? Yes, we're gonna make some dumplings. Yippee. Yes. 
Why eat a regular banana when you can just go wild and fry some plantains? Some plantains, yeah. Some people think it's banana. It's not banana. It's different. You it's, have to cook it. Yeah, it looks different, yes. but it is not a thing you pop open and put some peanut butter and bread no, on. No, not at all. Not at all. So oh. you're at the restaurant every day it's open. It's Tuesday through Sunday. You rest yes. on Monday, which is great. Um, do you have a favorite dish? My favorite dish, his name is legume. Legume? Yes. Like a bean? The legume is like a mixed vegetable. That's from Haiti, eggplant, carrot, Ooh, cabbage, yum. and you Genie cook it with, yes, please, thank you, Angie. Just standing there with yes. plantains and I'm yakking away. <laughs> Those are so pretty. Okay, we'll that? let that sit. Yes. Okay, so let's get going on the dumplings. The dumplings. I've never made dumplings before. Yeah. And also, if people are throwing an event, you yes. do some catering, is that yes. right? Yes, I do. You can ask me, call me, and I will be happy to do it. So we're gonna make a quick dumpling. Ho, ho, ho. So we're gonna use some seasoning. That seasoning, we just throw that on everything, oh, don't we? Yes, everything. If you're Haitian, <laughs> you're gonna put this on everything. Do you list what's in that, or is it a secret? Yes, it's a secret. Dang. But I can list, I, I do list what. Okay. We, but it's got like green onions, Ooh. Yes, bell pepper, garlic, garlic, yes. Heck you, yeah, yes. the garlic. I'm Italian, so I'm yes. like, bring on you the garlic. Bring the garlic together. And parsley, thyme. Ooh, and yeah. Everything mixed together, and you get your Haitian seasoning. You're hitting up all the favorites. Yep. And this one, you can add water. And That's if you got great. some chicken broth, you can add it on it too. Do you have any future plans? You've seen great success with My Marie in the few years that you've been open. Yes. And can you just talk a little bit about things that you hope for the future? I want to open more restaurants. Yeah? More My Marie. I want my name to be like everywhere. I sell my seasoning. Yeah. yeah. This is my plan for the future. Do you want to stay local in the Midwest? Do you want to branch out all over the country? Do you want to yes. do another restaurant in Haiti? Yes. I want to go <laughs> back. Like, yes, yes I want to yes. go back to Haiti. I want to open more restaurants and not, not only the Midwest. I want to go everywhere. Yeah. Yes. And you were really gravitating towards the Haitian community here. What about it made you truthfully want to pick up and get rooted here in St. Louis? So the reason why, because they are the Haitian community here. Mm -hmm. So I say, why not? I need to be a part of them. Yeah. Because I'm the one. I'm the main chef here. I have to win the Haitian cuisine for them. How has the community been receptive to my Marie? Yeah, they've been really good with it. Yeah. Really, really. Yes. They receive us pretty good. They welcome us too. Yeah. Yes. That's what I hear a lot. I love talking to people that aren't from here, that move here with a dream and start something and watch it really flourish. And it's great to hear that the community's been so like yes. welcoming and receptive and they, things they like do. that. They really do. So you see like wow. the, that's the dumpling. That's the mix, the flour okay. and the seasoning and we add some bacon a soda on it. I already add the bacon soda with Ooh, the flour. Yeah. Then can make it puffy. Whoa. Yeah. Let's get Poofy. So we need the, yes. Okay, we're gonna heat up. Oh, it's easy. You just pop it in the, the oil yeah. we used for the plantain yes. already. Yum. So you're at the restaurant, you said, like five days a week, six days a week. Six days a week. When you get home, are you just tired of food? Are you like, no, let's invent some more recipes in my own kitchen? You know, on Monday when I'm off, I usually like go to the restaurant sometime to make some dish. Kind of yeah. experiment and yes. try things out. Do you have like seasonal ingredients and seasonal menu items? Like. Or does it does the menu change? The menu not change a lot. Like sometimes if we have some special, mm -hmm. like we do have some crab legs special on Fridays. Oh. Yes. The crab legs boil, we do that on Friday. I have to ask, do you have dessert? Yeah, we do have dessert. We have some good warm made um, bread pudding. Oh, and yum. And peach cobbler. I make a, my warm sauce with the bread pudding. I feel like we're getting ready to eat. Is it about that time, yes, Chef? Yes, about that time. I'm gonna move this, is that okay? Yes. While you're plating up, I'm gonna tell everybody where they can find you. You are on Cherokee, you're 3147, right? Yes, Cherokee. Cherokee Street. They've got a great Facebook page too. You can keep up with them there. Yep. Oh, gorgeous, okay. Oh, that looks so good, and it smells so good. I never would have thought that all these things are gonna be on one plate, Chef, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Favorite part of the show. 
I did bring a fork for you too, in case you do find you want to take a bite. Are you ever sick of your own food? No. Good. <laughs> I was I hoping love. you'd say no. no. Holy moly. That's a lot. Is that like one portion you would serve somebody? Yes, we serve at least, like I know I'm gonna bring you guys some food. You got like at least eight to 10, eight shrimp. Holy shrimps. smokes. Oh, just everything looks so good. I'm like chomping at the bit here. Yeah. I'm like I'm running a race. You tell me when it's time. Don't forget the dumpling. Don't forget the, the peak, peak leaves. We gotta get our too. vegetables in. Oh my gosh, and again, this is not a meal that I eat every day. No, this so is something <laughs> special. Very, very special, special, very unique. And the dumplings, we cannot forget this. No, I will not let you forget, don't worry. Those kind of look like little donuts. Yes. See, in a way, you did bring dessert, chef. Thank you. You're welcome, Jeff. Okay, Thank it's about you. time. May I take a quick bite? Yes. Okay, I'm getting in here. Okie dokie, gotta get some rice. Thank gotta you. get that sauce, because I am a sauce girl. Here we go. A one, a two, a three. Oh my gosh. I I don't know what you're gonna eat, Chef, but I'm gonna be real busy here for the next few minutes. I cannot thank you enough for your time. I know no, you're busy you running a restaurant. Me. Thank you. You nailed it. Thank you. This is absolutely you so incredible. Again, check out My Marie Restaurant. You can leave it right here, right over there on Cherokee. This is so good. I'm like letting it savor right now. Uh, follow her on Facebook as well. You guys, they are open for lunch and for dinner. Tuesday through Sunday, the chef gets to rest on Monday, which is very important. Give her a call. Like I said, they can also do catering. So if you want to have a party or have an event, have people over or just have like a big family dinner, you know who to call if you want some incredible and unique Haitian food. That's going to do it on this episode of In the Kitchen. Make sure you follow us on social media too. And if you're out and about, eating at a great restaurant and you think they'd be a good guest, drop us a line. We want to know this show is all about you and just satisfying your St. Louis palate. So stick around, check out some more episodes on our website. That's gonna do it, Chef. Thank you so much for your time and we Thank will you. see you next time.